Question 15. The diagram shows the positions of three turbines, A, B and C. It says that A is 6 kilometers north of B and C is 4.5 kilometers west of B. Calculate the distance AC. Now, there's a few things I often tell my students. One is watch out for right angle triangles or things like it as you approach the, uh, the last half of the paper. So around about question 15, I can see a right angle triangle here and ask to calculate the distance AC. It's gotta be Pythagoras. So uh, AC, AC squared must equal 4.5 squared plus six squared okay this ac is the longest side so the longest side squared must equal the sum of the two other sides squared so that means that ac must be found by taking the square root of 4.5 squared plus six squared so get the calculator out get this guy to do all the hard work we're going to take the square root of 4.5 squared plus 6 squared in other words you square both numbers you add them together and then you're going to take the square root I'm going to take a calculator to do all the hard work there we get 7.5 so the calculator tells me that AC is 7.5 uh, kilometers. I was about to write centimeters there out of habit. 4.5 kilometers. Let's get that information into the diagram. 7.5 km. Okay, part B. Calculate the bearing of C from A. Now be incredibly careful here. A lot of students will mix up what this is actually asking me to do. A bearing is an angle and we want the bearing of C from A. So I'm actually measuring from A, okay? So I want to go from A to C, which is here. And we always measure bearings clockwise from the north line. So in other words, it's asking me for this angle here, okay? So we need to work out this angle here. Now, there's lots and lots of ways we could approach this. I know that this part of the angle of the bearing the bearing of C from A I know that that is 180 degrees so I would very much like to know this angle here okay the angle at A if you will okay so I'm going to work out this green angle here I'm going to call it X I'm going to work out what X is now in order to work out X we're going to use some trigonometry uh, we're going to use Sokotoa in particular okay so there's many ways we could approach this, but I'm going to use, let's see, the opposite. And uh, in relation to the angle, this guy is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use these two sides to help me calculate X. So I know that the sine of the angle X is equal to the opposite, 4.5 over the hypotenuse, 7.5, which means that X is going to be found by doing the inverse sine of 4.5 over 7.5 okay so let's get the calculator out we're going to do shift sine that gives me inverse sine of an angle and the angle is or not an angle a fraction 4.5 over 7.5 Come outside that bracket and fill the bracket. Hit equals, we get 36.869. Okay, let's go to the nearest degree because that's what it said in the question. Give your answer correct to the nearest degree. So, to the nearest degree, this is going to be 37 degrees. So, we get 37 degrees. So, I know x is 37. We know that the blue part is 180. So that means the bearing is going to have to be 180 plus the 37. So adding 37 on, we're going to get 7. 3 and 8 is 11. Carry the 1, we get 217 degrees.